All right, today's tidbit for the day. We are still in Psalm 111. We have resolved to worship God personally. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, he says. He resolves to put all he has into it, to summon the resources of his intellect. Wow. To uh, engage the passion of his heart. By the way, the passion of my heart is to serve God with all my heart. To enlist the dynamics of his will. You cannot enlist anything unless you get into it. So I want to enlist the dynamic of his will. I want to harness every ounce that is God has put within me and the strength to pull out the stops so that I can do and speak as God would have me do or speak. That's when God says something in your heart and in your, your conscience. Do this. Do it. Stop and do it. And uh, too often, our private worship is slipshod, even though God deserves our best. That means that we just do not really act like we really care. And do you think God likes that? Because he doesn't. He likes uh, we should pay as much attention to uh, singing God's praises as we would to, to any other enterprise uh, we consider important. Isn't that something? We will consider everything more important than God. It's more important that you pray before you leave your driveway in the morning in your car than it is that you leave your driveway in the car. Uh, look, let's look at uh, a past figure like Michelangelo, uh, who, for instance, his uh, passion was sculpture. Uh, he once fell heir to a massive block of concrete, of, of uh, marble, excuse me, that somebody else had tried to make something out of, and it was in uh, bad condition, and the other person quit. They couldn't do it. So he had already practiced all his errors, the other man had. So uh, from this, that same block of marble, Michelangelo created this figure, the statue of David, out of this piece of stone, beauty and strength, living stone, and the agony and the estes of the uh, reaction of fresh clothing. He didn't, he didn't change his clothes. He uh, didn't eat food. He didn't sleep. He, got, uh, he was ignorant of everything around him except the passion that he had with that piece of marble to turn out that statue, David. Do you do that with God? Have you put everything else today out of your mind already so that when you leave for work, you're praising the Lord so that every uh, stop you make, every person you see, you stopped at a red light and it's a double lane and you look over there and there's somebody in the other car and they glance over at you and you wave. Hey, how you doing this morning? Wow, do you know that's a cheery thought? <laughs> We're so mundane. We are so uh, caught up in this world today. We're, we're not pleasant. We're not even pleasant. And we're supposed to be Christians. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got a sign on the back of our car that says, Jesus is Lord, and we act like the devil. And uh, uh, we, we changed hands and, and um, drove on into the Bible. As he chiseled and everything, he, he didn't, he would, his hand would get so weak he couldn't use it. And he would, Take the other hand, and he would keep keep hammering away while this hand was was exercising and resting, and and so he committed to his work. Are we committed? Are we changing hands? Are we doing something all day long that involves God? And like, uh, you know, I, I think I had this in my mind. I remember when I was young, and I had a goat, and I milked the goat. You had to keep milking if you wanted to squirt that milk out of that teeth. You had to keep milking. Your hands would get so on you. Oh, my goodness. And you then go to you ever going to quit giving milk and getting that goat's milk. And we should worship with the same earnest zeal. That is what the psalmist resolves to do. He said, I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. He put his whole heart into this psalm when he wrote it. And he, God was with him and gave him in sight so that you and I could have it today and we could go ahead 
and uh, learn how to follow God.